Hey friends, in class we read The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Well, sometimes great stories get turned into different stories. So today, remember what we read in Boy Who Cried Wolf and then the, it'll make today's story even funnier. Today we're gonna read The Wolf Who Cried boy. So we're going to kind of flip things around a little bit. Are you ready? It was written and illustrated by Jeffrey DiNardo. Once upon a time, there lived a young wolf who loved playing tricks. Sounds like who? Like the boy who loved playing tricks, right? In this story is the wolf who's playing tricks. One day the wolf was bored, so he took a stroll through the park. From there he could see Mrs. Pig, Mr. Cat, and Mr. Turtle. They were all busy working in their shop. They are all so boring, said the wolf. Let me play a trick on them. Suddenly, the wolf had an idea. He ran to the center of the park. He took a deep breath and yelled at the top of his lungs. Help, he shouted. There is a horrible little boy after me. He's calling for help. Ooh. Mrs. Pig dropped her pie, Mr. Cat dropped his saw, and Mr. Turtle almost fell off his chair. All three shopkeepers ran to the park. They found the wolf standing there. Where is that awful boy? screamed Mrs. Pig. We'll save you from the beast, yelled Mr. Cat. I'll call the police, added Mr. Turtle. They were all going to help the wolf. They were very concerned or worried. The young wolf just laughed. I fooled you, he said. There is no boy here. I just played a trick on you. The shopkeepers were not amused. That means they didn't think it was funny. You should be ashamed, said Mrs. Pig. You made me drop my saw, said Mr. Cat. You are a naughty wolf, added Mr. Turtle. He thinks he's funny. Do they think he's funny? They were so worried. They were so scared. Mm. Sometimes we think jokes are funny, but not anybody else. It's happened to me, it doesn't feel good. But we fix it and we don't use those jokes again. The shopkeepers angrily went back to their shops, leaving the wolf alone. That was so much fun, he thought. Why don't I do it again? Is this a wise choice? Do you think this is a good choice? He ran to the pond. The wolf took another deep breath and yelled as loud as he could. Help! He screamed. There's a horrible little boy after me. How many times has he done this now? This is number two. Did he learn from the first mistake? Remember how those shopkeepers felt last time? Let's see what happens this time. Mrs. Pig dropped her tray of cookies. Mr. Cat dropped his hammer. And Mr. Turtle dropped his favorite clock. Look at the illustrations. How does Mr. Turtle feel about 
dropping and breaking his favorite clock. Is this a funny joke? Mm. The three shopkeepers ran to the pond. There they found the wolf sitting on a rock, laughing. I fooled you all again, he cried. There is no boy here, it's just another joke. Uh-oh. What do we think, guys? What needs to happen? Is the wolf making good choices or is he learning from his mistakes? Mrs. Pig, Mr. Cat, and Mr. Turtle were angrier than ever before. They were also angry with themselves for being fooled twice. You are a scoundrel, said Mrs. Pig. You should respect your elders, said Mr. Cat. You are a naughty, naughty wolf, added Mr. Turtle. If they were telling me these things, I might feel upset. Does he look like he's upset? Do they look like they're upset? Hmm. They're not getting along, so what needs to happen so they get along, guys? The three of them shook their heads as they returned to their shops. So they left the wolf and they went away. I'm still not sure if I trust the wolf. Look at that face. How do you feel? All of this laughing has made me tired, said the wolf. So he decided to take a nap. He lay down and soon fell asleep. Mm. What do you think is going to happen? Suddenly... He heard a noise in the bushes and awoke. Who's there? said the wolf. But no one answered. So he closed his eyes again. Then the wolf heard another noise. He sat up and said, I am trying to sleep. Who is out there? Mm, I think the wolf is starting to feel scared. What do you think? Just then, a head popped out of the bushes. It had an ugly, scary smile on its face. I am a horrible little boy, said the creature, and I am after a nice, juicy wolf. The wolf jumped up. Help, he yelled. There is a horrible little boy after me. But this time, no one came. Is he going to learn a lesson, guys? Remember, a fable teaches a lesson or a moral. What was the lesson and the moral of the boy who cried wolf that we read in class? Does this book have this same lesson or moral? Let's keep thinking. They don't believe you, said the boy. And now you are all mine, the wolf yelled again. He ran out of the park and did not stop running until he was all the way home. Oh, that was close. I didn't know if he was going to make it, guys. Then the horrible little boy came out of the bushes and popped off his head. It was Mrs. Pig. Ha! Out of the right arm came Mr. Cat. Out of the left arm came Mr. Turtle. The three shopkeepers smiled at each other and went back to their shops. Hmm. Did they teach him a lesson in a very creative way? Maybe so, let's see. Mrs. Pig finished baking her cookies. Mr. Cat finished making his table. 
Mr. Turtle repaired his favorite clock, and they were never bothered by that young wolf ever again. Seems like they taught him a lesson. Could he have learned it an easier way? I think so. Oh. The end. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. I love you.